we're going to be looking at Wien's law and Stefan's law. In order to understand these laws, we need to know what a black body is. And a perfect black body absorbs all the radiation instant on it. No radiation is reflected from it. And it can also emit all the radiation from it. So there's not actually a perfect black body, but matte black objects or most stars can be taken as a very good approximation of a black body. This curve shows the intensity of each wavelength that is emitted from a black body at a given temperature. And what we can see is as the temperature of the black body increases, then the intensity at all wavelengths increases. So that is the total energy emitted per unit time or the total power radiated increases. And we also see that the maximum intensity or where the peak occurs at lower wavelengths. So Wien's displacement law states that the wavelength of the peak intensity is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the black body. And so that means that the peak wavelength multiplied by the absolute temperature equals a constant. And this constant is equal to 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3 meters Kelvin, the so units of wavelength times the units of absolute temperature. Stefan's law states that the total power radiated per unit surface area of a black body is directly proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. And the total power radiated by a star is called luminosity, given the symbol L. So the luminosity of a star is directly proportional to its surface area and also directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature. And so it's given by the, this equation where sigma is Stefan's constant. And because luminosity is a measure of power, its unit will be the watt. So a star which has a radius r will have a surface area of 4 pi r squared. And so the luminosity of this star will be given by this equation. And so Wien's law and Stefan law can be used to estimate the radius of a star. So for this question, we're going to determine the radius of a white dwarf. We first use Wien's law, where the peak wavelength times the absolute temperature is equal to a constant. We have the peak wavelength and surface temperature of the sun. And we have the peak wavelength of the white dwarf. So hence we can use this to find the surface temperature of the white dwarf. So if we substitute in the values, we get the surface temperature of the white dwarf is equal to 21,000 Kelvin. And then we use Stefan's law and rearrange it to make the radius the subject. And we substitute in the values, noting that the luminosity of the white dwarf is 1 40th of that of the luminosity of the sun. And this gives the radius of the white dwarf as 8.32 times 10 to the 6 meters. If we consider a star of luminosity L, it radiates power in all directions in 3D space. So at distance d away from the star, we can determine the, its intensity. Remember, the definition of intensity is the power radiated per unit area. And at a distance d away from the star, the total power will cover a surface area of 4 pi d squared. 
And so the intensity will equal the power or the luminosity divided by this surface area. And if we rearrange the equation to make the luminosity the subject, then that will equal the intensity times by 4 pi d squared. And so we can determine the luminosity of a star from the intensity at a distance d away 